Okay, we're looking at the fourth video of the medium series that I've called, and uh, there'll be some geometry and a mixture of questions in this one. Okay, so this one, um, it's not too bad. L about half the kids got it right. Question 23, so you're in the last 10 questions. So can you think about an answer for that one, and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so with this one, we're just looking at the symmetry. So this shape here is going to be the same as that shape there. So basically, that shape is now going to be shaded in. And these lines are going to cut the, the uh, rectangle into four sections. Okay. And each of the sections is going to be the same. So when I shade in that, I've got what fraction is shaded? And the answer is a quarter. Okay, moving along. Next one. Okay, again, you're going to have hopefully a ruler or something you can draw a straight line. These ones are pretty straightforward. Um, less than half got it right. Big drop in percentages for Marichi students there. So have a go. You've got diagonals. So the word diagonals just means a line that joins the corners. Okay, um, and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so the one that only is the only one that has a right angle is this one here. All the other ones don't. That's not a right angle. That's not a right angle. That's not a right angle. It's this one here. Okay, so you just have to use a straight edge and you can test your theory. Okay, next one, 22. Which of the following? Okay, so this is not too bad. About half the kids got it right. See if you can work out which one makes sense. Which one is impossible to draw. Okay, pause and when you're ready, come back live. Hopefully when you were scanning through, you might have just seen this one straight away. So once you have an equilateral triangle, all the angles are 60 degrees. That's what an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle can't have a right angle. So that's the answer. Moving along. Okay, so we've got a triangle, and it's a special sort of triangle. And again, we've got about half the kids got it right, so that's not too bad. Uh, I want you to pause, and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so we've got 110 degrees so we've got 70 degrees missing, and this is an isosceles triangle, so the 70 degrees has to be split evenly between two angles, so each angle will be 35 degrees. Okay, moving on, last question in the block. Okay, um, again, this is only about half the only about a quarter of the kids got it right at Marichi. Um, so we're looking at height and time. How long is the arrow? at a height of more than two meters. So there's two meters, and we have to work out how long is it above two meters. So again, this uh, hopefully won't be too hard. Um, pause when you're ready to come back live. Okay, so this is the section. Okay, so come across. So this green section here is when it's above two meters. So now we just have to read the times. So one, two, three, four, five, so that's 0.2, 1, 2, so that's about 4.2. The difference in time is a, ooh, must be a little bit more. So in those terms of those choices, the, the one that's closest is the 3.8. Okay, 4. Point yeah, it's, they're not all, not like that one's too small, that one's too small, that one's too big. Um, I'm going to say that that's the right answer, um, given the diagram as it was. Okay. Oh, very silly me. Look, I'll have to take this back. Come down there. Sorry, that's 3.8. Okay, so 3.8. So I'm changing my answer. That was silly. I'm going to go back to 3.6 because that's the time when it goes 3.8. That's the time, 0.2. So it's 3.6 seconds. My bad. Okay, thanks. Bye.